This is a fairy tale. Great, great, great. Because since I already kind of know that Silent Hill tends to be some sort of fragmented version of like the sins or history of the person stuck in it or something, then I think the fairy tale is going to attack me because it's something from my childhood. No. I don't want to. This is where I'm supposed to go, right? New place? Yeah. Is this door open? Nope. That's what I figured, is that different doors are open in the two states of the world. Sound. I'm hearing creatures I don't want to hear. Wait, they're both locked? What do I do then? Got the red ball. Shotgun. Did I miss something? Both doors don't open. Really? What a weird dead end. Oh, hey. No, that's the library. So now this door is open, I guess. I'm sorry, what was that symbol? Oh, I can change floors. What is that symbol? Let's walk up forward a little bit. Oh, it's just a bunch of arrows touching each other in a weird splotch, so it looks strange behind me. When I was covering part of it, I couldn't make them out as being arrows. I'm like, what? Is that a weird wing? Those doors don't open, those doors don't open. I can loop around to the classrooms. Been to the locker room. Could go upstairs or downstairs. At this point, not entirely knowing where to go or what to do, I kind of just want to go back and save. Because I've been through a lot. That seems like a reasonable response to the situation. Let's go downstairs. Did I leave monsters in this hallway? I have to go right down to the end. Is that an option? Is it clear? Ah, uh, hope for the best. Doors jammed and can't be opened. Where have I heard that before? Huh? <laughs> Let's see. So you can only go through the most distant, dangerous part of the room. Maybe I should go the other way around. I'm worried I'll just get flat out lost if I don't check the map often enough. We clear? It might be possible just to cut straight across. Were there monsters in the open lobby? Or is it just creepy piano? Ah. Kinda thought I might be locked. It's locked, but there's just nothing in the courtyard to threaten you. You're locked? Jesus. Well, we're getting a more complete map now, that's for sure. So I can fit through the hall if I want to. 
to. When I when I reached that dead end middle of the hallway, yeah, it was added to the map. So at least it's becoming more complete as we go on. They don't necessarily expect you to fully memorize the whole place. I'm done with you guys. I am straight done with you fools. Eat my bell-bottom jeans! I'm sorry, how many bullets? 173. Wow! Positive progress has been made. I am loaded. And I. in more literal sense than usually. what people usually mean when they say that word. Is there a door over here? How do I leave this room again? Oh, it's the hall. I was thinking of it as a classroom. So the doors are slightly weirder located locations. Come and get it, bros. I have a lot of ammo. And that is a dead end, as expected. Now we know for sure, though. This is the, like, the one safe room, I think. But then you're not, I don't think? Ah! Really? Gotta do that to me? Ah! Ha ah. Clean. Got through that shit clean. That one's got a handle on it. That makes me think it's gonna open at some point, because the other... All the other- all the other gates that we encounter don't have handles. Let's just save before something happens. Yeah, I went about a half an hour without saving. That's a little- a little longer than I'd like. We haven't tried the lobby yet. Nope. 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 I can't see shit. Please die. What? They do get back up. Stop that. Another wheelchair. Oh. Ampool? What the hell? Relieve pain to recover stamina to high. Effect lasts for a while. That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible phrasing. What are you saying? Relieve pain to recover stamina to high. Effect lasts for a while. I can kind of gather that it's like sort of heal over time, effect like very effective heal over time thing. It's just it's it's phrasing is like I don't know what's up with that localization there. A wheelchair at an elementary school? They allow cripples here? <laughs> Why are you so surprised by there being a wheelchair? That just sounds like kind of uninclusive, man. There's a body. Also, there's a. Also, by the way, there's also like, uh, you know, bodies hanging in like Iron Maiden cages and shit everywhere, and like corpses and murder monsters. But no, yeah, the wheelchair. That's the weird thing. Thanks, protagonist, man. There was no- that was a dead end. Wasn't it? Yeah, we're not getting anywhere, anywhere that way. Uh... Shit. I've been like everywhere. I'm gonna go back to the creepy body. Let's see if the creepy body makes more sense on second try. That's what I thought. Because I had to do the weird key to get through there. Yeah, we, we had to get through here. <gasps> oh, God. Did I walk past you? More handgun ammo just sitting there. So did I miss something about the body? The right bathroom? Because nothing happened here, and it felt like something should. I got, got a shotgun and everything.
Is that legible? It is writing. L Leonard Ryan, the monster lurks. The monster lurks? What's that supposed to mean? Thanks for your input, dude. A hanging body. Why would somebody... Leonard Ryan. Boiler room, storage. But that's blocked up by a passage that I can't open so far. Leonard Ryan. Anything here mean any lab equipment, chemistry room? Closest I can think of is that, like, library reserve shares the characteristics of the monster... ...of the monster alert. I mean, of Leonard Ryan. There's a valve on the roof. Our character seems to find that important. Do I need to go back to the library reserve, maybe? Did I miss something there? Because there could have been something around there. The only thing I can think of of LR, li library reserve. Uh no. I wanna go back on the roof. The valve's highlighted. The valve's highlighted and I didn't do anything up there? And it seems important because I was blocked from going there during the normal version of this place. And suddenly I'm able to go here and there now, but nothing happened. Which makes me think I missed something. Let's see, can I open this door as a shortcut? Because that'd be very nice. Oh, thank goodness. I like that they let you open doors from behind as shortcuts. To make thing, just to make things generally quicker. Because if you can go across this courtyard, this floor is... ...functionally way smaller. And that makes it easy to get to the roof, because I just go up to... ...flights of stairs right here. Watch out for the baddies. It even beeps. What did I do to earn that beep? Didn't it just open on its own? Or is it opened by that weird threes panel door system thing I have? Drainage valve. Drainage for what? Oh. Nothing special. There's a hanging key. It's just out of reach. Wow, I, cl I pressed A against this, but not that. That's how close I was. Uh, what can I use then? The drainage system didn't let me use it. I mean, the ball's the only new item I have. It's circular, like the drain, I guess. Am I gonna knock it down and get it somewhere else? Can't use it here. Am I inspecting it correctly? Yeah, right here. Keep opening that on accident. No. And then the drains stop over here. Oh, wait. If the valve's over there, and there's a hole over there, and I want that key... Do I block this one? The one that doesn't matter? Keep opening the wrong menu now. Oh! Use the rubber ball. So now will it work? 
Where the hell's it? Am I gonna be able to access it from here? I probably flushed it down, right? He went down the drain. Where would that take it? So it's trying to stare at the right spot. Just gonna put my finger on it on my screen. The drain wouldn't take it there. My my finger was like right where that arrow is that that points out of the hall. But why would the dr why would the drain kick it out into the hallway? No. I would guess that instead of that, it drains directly into the courtyard. It's only a very slight misdirect from going straight down. And the courtyard actually makes sense as a drainage location as opposed to the middle of a hallway. But, you know, this is hell, so who knows. Or a hell-like area. At some point, you reach locations that are sufficiently hell-like enough that you don't really feel the need to distinguish the, uh, presence of, or lack thereof, hell, specifically. Maybe that's just me. So this door right here. I feel the need to constantly know exactly where I am on the map, partly it feels like one thing I can control, but also because it's like, if I if I run if I panic and encounter monsters, I need to be able to like flee away from them very easily, and I need to go, which means I need to know which way I'm going. So according to the map, if it if it's the easiest direction for it to reach would be around here. Nope, oh, there it is. Classroom key. Which classroom? The, both classrooms on this floor are open. The classroom next to the library reserve is not open. Okay. And we can't even access the other classroom because we can't get to that part of the room. Because the staircase is blocked off here. So the stair- so it's the staircase- it's the uh... The classroom by the library reserve is apparently the one we just got the key for. You bet I'm gonna save again. Who do you think I am? I'm still amused by memory card not inserted. <laughs> we don't have a second memory card in our fake memory cards on our emulated console that's freaking a PS4. Well, if that staircase is blocked, the only way upstairs is the one over there. Alright, then back up we go. Easy enough to find the drain location, thankfully. Could you imagine the, the speed this game would move at with no run button? Let alone how much of a mon how much of a nightmare monster encounters would be if you had to fight every single one of them because you wouldn't couldn't run. Uh oh, do I have to fight them again? Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. Finish them. We've seen them get up before. Oh god. Yeah, they heal. You gotta finish them off. And if you don't finish them off in time, it's almost like you're wasting your ammo. How do I have 14? I fired 7 shots out of 15 and I was at 14. I don't know when the reloading's happening. My character sometimes auto-reloads, apparently. Let's see. 
I still want to follow through with my original, my previous theory that Leonard Reinhardt or whatever it's called might be LR. Do you read that book? No. Nope. A lot of books. Not even the open one, huh? What's this? The Monster Lurks is the book's title. Chapter 3, Manifestation of Delusions. Poltergeists are among these. Negative emotions, like fear, worry, or stress, manifest into external energy with physical effects. Nightmares have, in some cases, been shown to trigger them. However, such phenomena do not appear to happen to just anyone. Although it's not clear why, adolescents, especially girls, are prone to such occurrences. Oh? A connection to the daughter that's missing? Is that what we're implying here? Let's not go into the main library. I've already been in there. The clue before was a monster lurks, wasn't it? So this should be the classroom I have the key for. But I think, yeah, I think the Leonard Ryan or whatever co code clue was a monster lurks. So I think that matches the book. We can get in here now. I feel like I shouldn't want to. <laughs> uh, uh oh, that's a bad sound. Oh god, how fast are they coming at me? Okay, we're leaving. No. No. These things are especially alarming because they're the things that killed me before in the intro. Jesus. I'm done with you guys. Not only does it save you ammo, but it feels like the smart thing to run away from those rooms because there's freaking three of them. Like, when there's enough of them charging you at once, like, how effectively can you fight them? Unless you want to use a shotgun, maybe? Oh god. Come on. Finish these dudes off. Yeah. Got him. Dicks. Yeah, once again, one shot used, supposedly. So we came out of the other classroom, we've gone through both. All there really is to do is go downstairs. Which will take me right next to the infirmary. Behind that locked door? Can I open you from this side? Yes. Ah, sweet shortcut. That should take me right by the save point. So now there's a direct connection between the save point and the location that I'm going next, which is the boiler room, which is what I always figured was going to be a negative thing. It's going down below in the darkness with the suggestion of there being some kind of beast that we've awoken, so thanks for that game. Can't wait. I think we're gonna- f I think we're gonna encounter the lizard that they've hinted at already. If we haven't- we've had reference to beasts and we talked about a lizard that you shoot when its mouth is open. We'll see! It is totally silent, aside from the, uh, atmospheric music. Not what I expected. Are there items here? I can't see anything past the grate. We have two doors. I think right is boiler, left is storage. Does storage open? Yes. Of course it does. Monsters? Shotgun shells, maybe. Yes! And, uh, the long-term heal thing. We have two of those now. 
Got a lot of healing types. What's it gonna be? That's a camera angle, ain't it? LR. I'm gonna take the name L name Leonard Ryan or whatever as a clue. What? Oh crap. Excellent, I skipped that. Turn the left valve left. Turn the valve right. Turns both of them, doesn't it? It seems to turn the valve on the left. So I'm turning the left valve, and it appears to... If I turn them left, they turn... Counterclockwise. If I turn it right, they turn clockwise. But it appears the one on the left turns uh, yeah, 180 degrees, while the one on the right turns 90 degrees. Which means I probably have to switch off which one I'm turning. It's a little hard to make out. Oh, double clicked on accident. I'm thinking maybe the other way. Yeah, I think so. Clear? Got it. Got it. Camera, please follow me. Don't leave me there. Um, no. Excuse me. I do not consent to this. Where we're we going? That's a very white screen. Oh, hi. Um. Oh shit, is that the lizard back there? That thing is gargantuan, you know what? You know what? I think it's time. <laughs> I'm thinking it's time. Gonna use this little buddy. Jesus, fires a wide radius, holds up to six rounds. Uh. Uh. Did you politely open your mouth? Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. I can't see anything. Is my light off? It appears to be. Shot him in the mouth. I also wasted a lot of my ammo, frankly. Okay, so now I know what it looks like at least. When this when the mouth opening thing happens. I'm gonna want to stay away from that! Otherwise. No! Oh, Jesus! Okay. Wow! Fuck you, really? That's a thing that happens? I don't like that. No. No. That's way more open mouth than I thought he'd get. Is that- What the fuck? Just like that? Oh. I'm gonna have to replay a bunch of stuff, aren't I? You're using guns. Hitting the weapon button will aim the nearest enemy in front of Harry. Hitting left or right will change the aim of the next enemy. Neat. Didn't know that. I didn't know that it had like a Dark Souls style aim toggle. That's a good idea. Well, crap. Gonna have to replay a chunk. That went bad fast. I was like, this is my chance to shoot him. And I, I gambled on the idea that if I shot him in the mouth, he would then uh, recoil. 
No, he just eats you. 